I used to hate this mission, and I got stuck really bad on this mission when I was younger. Because I didn't understand the concept of, like, what the fuck a tranquilizer was, I guess, when I was younger. So I would continuously just keep hitting the animals with it. And I would get, like, a game over because I guess I, like, overdosed them with the, the Trank dart. to get more darts though. Also this must be a short mission because literally every stump is within like a like a five foot radius. I finally progressed to Metal Gear Solid 5. Also Jared I don't know if you heard me or not but uh an easy way to find the honeybee is you have to find the mu uh the muha I oh, god I said it fucking totally fine. The Mujahideen prisoner. If you find the prisoner, you can rescue him, extract him, and he'll tell you the location of the honeybee. And if you need help finding him, just interior. <laughs> you couldn't find the prisoner? Yeah, then I guess there's not much else you could have done then. Oh yeah, all five of the stumps in this level. On fire. The poacher's campsite is just up ahead. Stay low and out of sight. What was that? Did you hear that? Ha, just a wind. Oi, what's that noise? You there. You're not supposed to be here. A set of a stampede. <laughs> and the elephants are heading toward my village. We need to stop them. Looks like someone left a trunk rifle in there. Good thing for us. I'll drive. You shoot. I found a hole I could crawl through and lead it to the honeybee. <laughs> yeah, it is so. That whole layout is just confusing. Streaming? Nice. I know Mason was saying his internet speed was like way better at this new place than at his, uh, his old one.
What is this bro stuck on this? This truck is only going like five miles per hour. We're being chased down by like a stampede of evidence, er, evidence, elephants, and this dude's still that trying to like abide by roadblocks. Looks like you saved my village again, and you shut down that poaching operation. Good work, my friend. Good work. We didn't shut down shit. We just disturbed them. We just caused like a mild nuisance and they just stopped. Because the fucking elephants just like ran through the place. I get the hunter. Is that a gazelle or impala? Oh wait, no. Wait, is there an animal called an impala? For some reason I thought impalas were just the name of the fucking companies. A replica long-ranged rifle. Why is it only a replica? What the fuck is this? Am I hunting it with a musket? Fucking black powder rifle? What is this? Apparently I'm just one of the Minutemen. Sixty minute man. There's one over there. So I guess going back to talking about Cabela's and just like the games in general. Uh, I guess one question that I can ask myself is uh, what do I think is the best Cabela's game? I think Cabela's African Safari is probably one of my favorite games. Oh, it is an Apollo. Alright, I thought it was a gazelle. But yeah, I think African Safari is probably one of like the best Cabela games of all time. Well, you stopped the poachers, but you weren't in time to stop their boss. One of them said Benedict had business in India. Maybe you should head there and investigate exactly what that crook is up to. Godspeed, my friend. And be careful. Hold on a minute, chap. No need to be hasty. I'm not one of those low-life poachers, if that's what you're thinking. I just thought I might salvage some of the supplies they left when they absconded into the night. I'm part of the group that helped run those nasty blighters out of here. Wilderness Rescue. Maybe you've heard of us? A worldwide rescue organization. We're the good guys. Wait a bloody minute. I recognize you. Core, you used to work with Wilderness Rescue. You and Bullseye Lewis. Why, you're a legend around here. The name's Dowling, Sport. Reginald Dowling. You can handle the trank gun, can't you? Well, come on, let's get moving. He's the most fucking British name ever, just Reginald. Uh, tip, tip, cheerio, lad. Beautiful beasts, those Bingles. Beautiful and deadly. Watch yourself. These kiddies are quick as lightning. <laughs> Man, you see these guys in like the. Uh... You see them in the cutscenes, and then you see them in actual game, and it just looks completely Help fucking out, different. Chum. Where are you? Uh. Get out of here. 
So it's like I only have the Trank gun. Watch out, Reginald. There's a booby trap. Traps aren't always on the ground to look up. God, that tiger looks dope out of its jaws. Original, I'm coming. My leg is all fucked up. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, there is another really good Cabela's game. Uh, I don't remember which one it is. I do remember that, uh, I think it was kind of similar to this one, and there was a level that took place in the Amazon rainforest, where you have to like, you have to like kill a capybara to use its flesh to like, uh, to like lure piranhas away or something, so that you can like cross safely. That one was really good too, whatever that one was. I just feel like I haven't been talking about the game enough, but I really did love the Cabela's games growing up. I never actually went- oh, uh, I went out hunting like twice in my whole life. And... I guess I still somewhat have, like, a small interest in hunting, because, like, uh, I mean, I guess I have an interest in guns. Guns, I think, are fucking cool. Could I ever bring myself to kill an animal? I have no idea. But at one point in my teenage life, I did have an interest in hunting, but that whole experience was kind of ruined for me by my stepdad. I do have my hunting license and stuff like that, but it was it was like a very brief like period of my childhood that never really amounted to anything. Dowling, do you read anywhere. me? We got a situation. Reginald Dowling, come in. Dowling here. I read you. Go on. Trouble. A bear attack at the wilderness rescue campsite. We've got a train in him, but all that managed to do is piss him off. He's going berserk. You need to get over here, Dowling. You hear that? I'm glad you showed up. Come on, there's no time to waste. Where'd you run off? I don't know, 
maybe once I get my life better situated, I'll, uh, maybe I'll take up hunting again. Help me out, Where are you? <sighs> Living in Vermont, there's also just not really a lot of, like, interesting game around here, because it's not like Where Vermont has off? wolves or anything cool. Literally, like, the only thing we have is, uh, we have, like, white-tailed deer season, and then, like, the occasional, like, bear tag that they'll give people. But even then, it's not like black bears are all that common in Vermont, either. I think Vermont really is just like one of the most vanilla and just like boring states when it comes to like uh like hunting game and stuff. Alright, that log was really weird. This is another one of those annoying missions that, for some reason, like, refuse to give me ammo. I mean, I guess in fairness, their logic is this should only take me, like, one bullet to stop an animal. Just because it's a trank gun. Careful! These poor sods have already been through the ringer. Last thing any of them needs is a bullet in the backside. Oh, fucking nice. Oh, no, he got Joe! <laughs> I think this dude is just straight up dead. Congratulations, you have locked a bonus level. Hell yeah. Your buddy's still dead though. So, your plan is to go after the brute that took down Bullseye, is it? Good show! Bloody shame about his guide Hamisi, isn't it? Still, nice to know he's not your only option. There's a geezer in the Australian outback, they say, can track a newt through a monsoon. Aboriginal bloke, name of Wiraki. I don't suppose you speak any of the Aboriginal languages, do you? Well, it's a good thing I do. I'd happily offer my services as translator, but there's one last thing I need to take care of for wilderness rescue. A child went missing not too far from here. It's come down to me to find her, and soon, It's a rhino. Also, why is it always my mission to fucking rescue these people? We need to find that poor girl and find her fast. Keep an eye out for traps. I'm more curious if your buddy even survived. Where'd you run off to? I'm assuming that guy that got munched by the bear is not alive, though. Help me out, old chum. Where are you?
have a bad feeling about this. It really sucks that audio mixing back in the PS2 is so shit. Cause like I can't, I mean not like I could anyways cause my ears are plugged and I'm like deaf. But I was gonna say like I can't tell where these enemies are coming from like directional wise. Just because of like the uh, the audio. Look at that. No doubt it belongs to the child we seek. You know what really fun series that would be really cool to take a look back at? Uh, the Sly Cooper series. All of those games should be on PS2 as well. There's so many, like, PlayStation 2 games I want to go through eventually. I guess there's so many games in general that, like, I want to go through on stream. I kind of just picked Resident Evil first, just because the Res series is one of my favorites. And then there's still like a shit ton of Silent Hill stuff for us to cover eventually too. Speaking of, I know I've been saying it for a while, but I do plan on finishing the, uh, the Silent Hill 3 video. Or series, I guess. I still eventually need to, like, play the game in general, get to the ending, so I can just record the, like, last little bit, and then just, like, upload it. Because I remember where we left off and everything, too. I just need to actually record the ending so I can conclude that series and have that weight off my shoulders. And then I know there was a couple of, like, trophy runs I might do with the this game, too. awfully uneasy. I love the Silent Hill games, but the trophies for those games are just ridiculous though. Like the trophy to unlock the hyper spray, uh, which most people who have played Seven Hill probably know that it's literally like one of the worst trophies there is. You have to have like a near perfect run alongside getting like every other trophy essentially to get it. Because, like, you have to beat the game within a certain amount of time. You gotta kill a certain amount of enemies. Like, literally to get the hyper spray or whatever in Silent Hill. You really do just have to, like, play the game as if you're trying to get all the trophies in a single run. Also, Reginald, where are you going? You're, you're going off the path. Maybe he went off the path there to avoid that trap, but you hear really, that chap? That's really feel like it. Trap. We're getting close. The girl's just up ahead. Let's get moving. Help me out, old chum. Where are you? 
Reginald. I don't know about you, but it sounds like the girl's dead. I needed to rescue her from a snake. She's trying to warn us about something, but I can't for the life of me figure it out. Poor dear, I can't quite understand her, but I know she wants to go home. Let's get her to safety. Oh my, so that's what she's trying to warn us about. This mighty brute is a protected species, so we can't kill him. Of course, we do have every right to defend ourselves if attacked. Here's a thought. You take on our angry friend over there, and I'll get this little girl out of harm's way. Snake just like okay. I guess maybe if I just go out of the like out of the range that it wants me to go, like just randomly get attacked by a snake. I'm pretty sure that sound is a ditch to redo. Australia. I want you to meet a mate of mine. Wiraki, best bloody guide on the planet. I thought he said Miyagi for a minute. Mr. Miyagi. Wiraki, slow down. It's me, your old pal Reginald Dowling. Remember me? Oh, uh, you're talking a little fast for me, chap. Come along then. He says to follow him. Hmm. Well, Wiraki is either inviting us to join some of his tribesmen for a giant delicious crocodile dinner, or he's saying that some of his tribesmen are lost in the outback and about to become a giant crocodile's delicious dinner. You know, chap, you should volunteer to save those tribesmen. Might be a good way to get on with Racky's good side. I'm actually just kind of impressed that this game has a mission in Australia. I really can't think of a single fucking game where you actually have like a mission in Australia. Or like you even play in Australia. This is Reginald Dowling. Do you read me, chap? Testing, testing. Is this thing on? Sorry you don't have much in the way of weapons, old chap, but it's frightfully important you bring Wiraki's tribesmen medical supplies, and you don't have enough room to carry it all. Pay careful attention to my direction, sport. You take one wrong turn on this trail, and it's curtains for you. <laughs> 